Hello children, welcome back to our mathematics class and today also we are going to com continue our chapter number 4 that is multiplication and division of large numbers and today also we will continue our exercise number 4.4 .4. and in our last video we have done from the question number 1 so today we will continue from the question number 2 onwards so let's see the questions so in our question number 2 that is divide and find the quotient and the remainder for each of the point there are some questions you can see here there are a b c d e f from this i will do few questions and rest of the questions you have to do by yourself okay students so let's see i have taken the a number see here 59,306 divided by 5. So we have to divide this 59,306 by 5. So we have arranged like this by 5. Now you can see how we will start the dividing. So from the first extreme left side we have start the dividing. So dividing. See here we have to start the division from the extreme left and if the first digit of the dividend is less than the divisor, then take the first two digit together. If the number from by this digit is less than the divisor, then take three digit three together and so on. So this is the rule of division. But here you can see the first digit from in the left side, it is 5. So we can divide it by the 5 years on a student. So 5 1 ja 5 we have to then we no need to take the second digit. So just we have to divide from this way. 5 1 ja 5 now we have to subtract so it will be 0 no need to give the 0 in the beginning. So now we will take the 9 in down. So again you can see 5 1 ja 5 if you we'll count the table of 5 5 1 ja 5 and 5 2 ja 10. As the 10 is larger than the 9, so no need to give that 10. We cannot give here 10. We cannot give by 2. So, all what will come just? We have to take only the 1 jump. So, 5, 1 jump, 5. 5, 1 jump, 5. Therefore, you have, so if we subtract 5, 1 jump, 5, 9 minus 5, 4. So, 4 and now you can see this 4 we cannot divide by as for region larger number so sorry smaller number so we have to take the 3 in down so now it is become 43 so 5 if you we'll count the table of 5 you can see 5 7 ja 35 and 5 8 ja 40 but 5 9 ja 41 so which one will come you have to take the near about either less than or equal so we cannot take the larger so 45 we cannot write here and less than just near about it is coming 40 so 5 8 40 so 3 here 3 g minus 0 it will be 3 and 4 minus 4 you do not need to give so 3 now we have to take this 0 in down so it will be 30 so now again if you see the table of 5 it's coming 5 6 the 30 so you can write directly right here 30 so 30 now it's coming 0 now we, which one will take down in the 6 so now 6 is coming so 6 if you will see 5 on the 5 so 6 minus 5 it will be 1 and this is the remainder if you will take after learning this all division now we will see left around that the point if you take point here then it will be 5 to j 10 then you have to give 0 but this after on we will discuss it like this but now for now we will keep here like this only okay so 5 1 j 5 now 6 minus 5 it will be 1 so that means this is the complete this complete number or whole number will be the quotient so it is the 11861 is the quotient and remainder is that means the left of a number is 1 so remainder is 1 okay students how we have done it so this is clear to you now all right now we'll see that our 
B number question. See here, 92,841 divided by 6. So, just we have to divide. So, 6, 1, you will, as we know the division process now, just we have to start from the left side. So, 6, 1, ja, 9 is it the larger number than 6? We can divide it. So, 6, 1, ja, 6. And but 6, 2, ja, 12. So, no need to give the 2. We cannot give here 2. So, 6, 1, ja, 6. So, 9 minus 6, it is coming 3. So, now 2 have to down, take down 32. Again, 5, 6, 6 5, ja, 30. So, 2 will become here. And 8 also, we have to take down. As 2 is less number than 6. So, 28. 6, 4, ja, 24. So, now, as 6, 5, ja, 30. But 30 will become the greater number than 28. So, we have to give the less number or equal number. So, we, we will take here 6. 4 so see 24 28 minus 4 4 will come so now we will take here this 4 so 44 is can becoming so now 6 7 ja, 42 so now if we'll subtracting this number we will get here 2 so again we will take down the this remaining one so it will be 21 then it is 6 3 ja, 18 but 6 4 ja, 24 so 24 as 24 becoming the larger number than 21 we have to give here 18 so that means that 6 3 ja, 18 so remaining number is after subtracting we are getting 3 so this is the left upper number so it will be the remainder as you know so 3 will be the remainder and quotient will be the answer after which one we are getting so this 15470 is the quotient okay students now let's see one more question that is I have taken here E number 42,815 divided by 8. So after the same way we will divide it as 4 is the less number than the 8 num 8 digit. So we will take the next 2 digit. This 42 will take together 2 digit. So 8, 5 to 40. Now 2 after subtracting we will get 2, 2 then 8 you will come down so 28 8 3 is 24 and but 8 a 4 is 32 32 as larger number so we will get the less number 24 so 8 3 is 24 is okay so 8 4 is 8 minus 4 4 then 1 will coming down so 41 then 41 8 5 is 40 so 1 will again we will subtract 1 will remain and now we will take that 5 so 15 8 1 is 8 but 8 2 is 16 so 16 you cannot write then it will be larger number than 15 so we have to give the 8 only so 8 1 ja, 8 so now after subtracting we have got the 7 so this is the left over number so it is called the remainder and quotient is the 5351 already soon i hope this is clear to you know how to solve this dividing and rest of this dividing you do by yourself okay see here in our question number three it is given without the actual division find the quotient and remainder for each of the flame but with that actual division how you can do like we have you have learned about the multiplication how we can multiply directly or inside the zero by hundred ten thousand similarly same way we can divide also by ten hundred thousand without the actual division so we will see how we can do it okay in your book it is given so students take out your book number 2 and page number 24 all right students and now you can see here it is given division by 10 100 and 1000 is given here so we will just read out it now see division by 10 how we can do a dividend when divided by 10 gives a remainder divided by 10 gives a remainder equal to the digit at one's place in the dividend and rest all the digits is in the dividend from the quotient so you can see the example if you will see how we can do it here dividend that means it is said like this suppose one seven three two four so what does it mean in by division this is the 4 divided by 10 if it is given so you have to do after dividing we will get the quotient as 1 7 3 2 that means this all will be the quotient only the ones plus digit that one will be equal to the remainder so remainder will be the 4 ones plus digit what it will be there that will be the remainder and remaining all the digit will be the 
question so you remind like this that if the number of zero is one then the remainder will be one digit that is with the one place digit only okay students so this is the division by 10 now division by 100 is a dividend when divided by 100 gives the remainder equal to the digit at one's place and tens place taken together in the dividend so we have to take one's tens place and one's place digit together that will be the remainder end. and see here how we can do it here also suppose if you will example 2 3 8 5 6 so if you divide it by 100 then this place remaining two digit then the number of zero in 100 how many two no that means you can remind like this so one's place and tens place these two digit will be the remainder so remainder will be five six that means only two digit should come here five six and rest of the queue that will be two three eight will be the quotient okay students now you can see division by thousand a dividend when divided by 1000 gives a remainder equal to the digit at 1's place, 10's place and 100 place taken together dividend and rest of the digit will be the dividend from the quotient. So suppose if we we'll take one more example here 6, 3, 8, 4, 7 divided by 1000. So quotient will be the remainder you can write first. So remainder will be the these 3 as there is 3 zero. So we have to take the three digit from the remain in the remainder. How we can take from the right side? So right side means one place, ten place, and hundred place. One place is one place is eight, four, seven. So seven coming, four coming, and eight. This is the remainder. And rest of the how many zero is how many digits are there remaining? All will be the quotient. So six to three here. If it is given like this, one zero eight three four seven, then it will be the R means it will be 3, 4, 7 and Q means it will be 1, 0, 8. Only 3 is it will come here. Or let us, I hope this is clear to you know how to do. So now we will see the questions. Okay. So see, first our question is given 3, 8, 7, 5 divided by 10. So how we can do it here? As we have learned just now that only one place will be the remainder. So 5 will be here and 3, 8, 7 will be there. And now same way will be if you 100 only two will be that means 5 and 3 will be remainder and the remaining all will be the quotient so a zero one will be the quotient and c number it is given thousand so three digit will be this three as three zero is there so this three will be the remainder so three six seven will be the remainder and remaining all the number will be the quotient so nine eight four will be the quotient and one thousand also same way will this all will be the three one five will be 3, 1, and 5 will be the uh, remainder and 42 will be the quotient. Now, same way, it is 1000 divided also, then also it will be 6, 5, 0. This one will be the, that means, will be the 56 will be the, 0, 5, 6 means it will be 56. This is the uh, remainder and there is remaining all the number like 7, 9, 3, this one will be the quotient. I hope this is clear to know how you can solve the without the actual division by 10, 100, 000, and so on. Thank you students.